Hi there, Lloyd from LloydMacedo.com. Today is the 23rd of January 2014 at 4.52 in the morning. I didn't sleep as usual, but today I got the spark of creativity and I started writing articles and that is why I decided to put up a video. Now, today's video is dedicated to the fact that uh, this actor whose name is Salman Khan has just come out with this movie J-Ho. I happened to see the trailer and as usual it was pathetic because almost all Indian movies are crap. Uh, the trailer just features um, you know, the typical Salman Khan showing his body, coming, beating up guys and guys are flying around and he's jumping on them and he's flying in the air. So the typical nonsense. So now I wrote up this article about Salman Khan being human or the question is he being inhuman. Now, uh, let, let me give you a rundown as to why do I say this, okay? Um, for those of you who do not know, Salman Khan has been appointed as the brand ambassador for a clothing brand here in the Middle East. Uh, with the tagline being human. Now, in case you do not watch Hindi movies or you do not know who Salman Khan is, uh, let me give you a few facts about him. The first thing is his real name is Abdul Rashid Salim Salman Khan. So imagine if you would act in the movie and you call him Abdul Rashid. Ooh, that sounds more like an Arab, okay? Or sounds like uh, Abdul Rashid, where are you? Hmm. So it doesn't sound very nice. So Salman Khan is better. Uh, he was born on 20, 27th December 1965, which makes him almost 49 years old, so almost 50, and he looks good for 50. Uh, I'm sure a couple of injections or a couple of surgeries or whatever, because naturally, if you try to look 50, not possible. But I'm not saying that he is taking, I'm just assuming, assuming, okay, this is mine. So don't sue me in court, okay, I'm just telling you. Because almost all actors, if you actually look at it, all actors and all actresses, they, they go through all these surgeries and procedures because they are in the um, that's a media business. They have to look attractive. So if you look something like me, you're not going to get any movies. Anyway, so he's an actor, producer, television presenter for Hindi and Urdu speaking audiences only. He's famous with these people. I don't know if he's famous with the English crowd or with the Americans. Now, what makes him popular is the fact that his father is a Muslim Pathan and his mother is a Hindu. So apparently he mixes with both the religious groups, celebrates both the festivals and he's popular with both. Now, it seems um, he has starred in quite a number of movies, but you got to understand this. The reason why he's famous in all these movies is not because of his amazing acting skills, but rather the process that he follows. He rips off his shirt, he shows his muscles, flexes them, beats the bad guy. And, um, you know, in some of the movies, he acts like a clown. So it works very well. Well, this is what works with the Indian audience and he's, uh, you know, making money on it. Then apart from that, uh, his stats are he has a 47 inch chest, 17 inch biceps and 30 inch waist. Just like Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone and Ben Johnson, he has worked very hard. He's done it naturally. He has not taken any substances. Okay. So he just eats chicken and rice and uh, Indian curry, obviously. And uh, he has a little bit of protein powder, so he doesn't take anything else apart from that. Uh, that's as far as I believe most people would like to believe. Okay, his movies are successful among Indian crowds and um, are rarely known in the international circles. In fact, I asked a couple of American guys and a couple of uh, British friends of mine, they don't know who Salman Khan. Okay, uh, and most of his movies, if you actually look at it, are they have the three less. It's called mindless, senseless and brainless or classless, whatever. So... The biggest blockbuster Salman Khan apparently seemed to have is The Bang, Ready, Bodyguard, Ekta, Tiger, The Bang 2, uh, which according to me are some of the most ridiculous, pathetic and brain dead movies. If you don't believe me, watch it by yourself, but I don't have any idea how is it that these movies made millions, but they made millions. Um, now, some of his legal achievements, legal achievements that Salman Khan has uh, to his credit are uh, the hit and run case. Apparently, he rammed into a bakery and killed a guy who was sleeping on the street. Then the other thing was the harassment, stalking and hounding of the his ex-girlfriend, that is uh, Aishwarya Rai, who is currently married to Abhishek Bachchan. So it ended up as a legal complaint. Then um, a black buck hunting case where he killed an endangered animal uh, in his hunting game. Then the controversial remarks which he gave on the 2611 attacks, apparently apologized for it. And um, uh, finally, um, in 2011, Khan admitted that he suffers from trigeminal neuralgia, a facial nerve disorder, which is called a suicide disease. 
In an interview, it seems he stated that he was suffering this for the past 17 years and the pain had become pretty unbearable, which makes his voice pretty harsh. Now, obviously, I don't want to make fun of him for that. I wish he gets well. I wish it would be healed. But, you know, then again, I, I'm, I'm not a medical guy. So, now let's focus on the good side of what Salman Khan is doing. A couple of good things. Uh, apparently, he started an NGO that is Being Human, which sells T-shirts uh, through its products and online stores. And it goes to the underprivileged. Now, I, I don't know who keeps a tab on this. Uh, in 2011, he launched a SKBH, that is Salman Khan Being Human Productions. The money that was generated was donated by Being Human. Uh, first film that was made, a banner with kids, entertainer, Chiller Party, which went on to win three national awards. So, Best Children's Film, Best Origin Screenplay and Child Artist Award. In January of 2012, Khan offered to pay around 4 million rupees, that is around 64,000 US dollars to help release 400 prisoners from uh, 63 uh, and 63 prisons uh, in the state of Uttar Pradesh. Okay, and that's a state in India. So now, the question is this, is Salman Khan good enough with all these facts to be endorsed as a being human candidate? Or do you, is this a marketing ploy? You know, if, if you consider and focus that being human is doing whatever Salman Khan has done, the good, the bad, ugly, killing people, killing bugs, uh, harassing others, obviously nobody's perfect, even I'm not perfect. So if you think this qualifies as being human, okay, fine, good, no problem. But if you feel that this is not acceptable, something is not acceptable, then I don't think he qualifies for being human. I think this is done by a smart marketing company and uh, I don't know if it's working out well, but at least I'm I'm not convinced about it. As far as marketability goes, if you ask me, Kalyan Jolas has approached Butchins, Joy Alukas has approached Hrithik Roshan, Videocon has approached Shah Rukh Khan. So you have all these uh, actors endorsing all these various brands. But the question is, how much does it push sales? If marketing is just remembering the actor and the product, okay, fine. If it is increasing sales, I don't know. I really don't know. See, given the fact that this clothing brand always has a 25 to 75% off all year round, always trying to push sales, I don't know how much of value did this guy coming into the picture add on. And especially with the fact given that there are a lot of non-Hindi and non-Urdu speaking nationalities who go and shop there. So, you know, I for one, if you honestly ask me, I for one, I think Salman Khan is a very smart businessman, okay? He is a very smart, charismatic guy who knows what the Indian public wants and he kind of focuses to give them that. And yes, he wants to make money. End of the day, it's all about money. It's not about just love and passion about it. Because if you love and you know have passion about something, you're not making any money, nobody's going to remember you. So, um, he, Salman Khan as an actor, well, he does it pretty well. He takes off his shirt. He flirts with the beautiful girls. He meets his girl and they sing and dance and dance around the bush and uh, you know have this romantic song i don't know from where the song comes and then he he shows his clean shaven chest and his muscles he flexes his arms he beats up the bad guys flies through the air kills everyone and then beats up the main villain and finally you know uh, the story doesn't have to be sensible logical or make sense he just has to do it and the movie is a big hit and that is how he makes his money so if you ask me i would endorse him as a Profitable businessman, however, not a profitable brand ambassador. And uh, as far as being human is concerned, I don't know how far does he qualify for being human. Rather, I would just say that um, he's a smart guy. He's a smart guy. I'm not saying he has not helped people. Maybe he has helped millions of people. Okay, millions of people. Maybe he's giving 100% of all that he earns to the poor. Okay, let's assume. But still, that doesn't make him a sacred cow. Um, is Salman Khan a good actor? No, I don't think so. Is Salman Khan a smart business son? Yes. Is he a good brand ambassador? No. Is he a, um, you know, normal human being? Yes, he is pretty much. So, what do you think? Do you think Salman Khan is right to be advertised as a being human brand? Or do you think this is just a marketing ploy? I, for one, I just feel that, uh, you know, in this, um, in, this, in this endless ocean of fake glamour and blitz, whether it's Khan or whether it's the buttons or anybody else, you just have to do whatever it takes to survive and make money and, uh, you know, make hair until the sun shines because one day you'll end up like a Rajesh Khanna, an actor who was the demigod of uh, acting and the people used to pray for him and people used to pray to him and keep his photograph and kiss his photograph. But in the last ending days, nobody even bothered to know whether he was alive or dead. So I think this is the life of all actors. So is Salman Khan... Being human or being inhuman, you decide. Because I think 
he doesn't deserve the title of being called being human. Lloyd from LloydMosquito.com. Thank you very much for watching and let me know what you think. Goodbye for now.